So law and order, I mean, Douglas may have thought he brought law and order in, but occasionally law and order took care of itself. Yeah, indeed. In, in the mining camps it did in those early days. How big was that 90s rush? I mean, well, was it just a stopgap? Probably about 100 men working on the creek, Mike. And, uh, you know, there were a lot of guys interested. They were still have been there since the early days. Old Jimmy Copeland had come there in about 1860. He dies in Rock Creek in 1899. And handsome Rory McLeod, who used to be in Ainsworth, he came into Rock Creek in his, in his in waning days to try to glean a, a living from that particular area. And, you know, there are a lot of interesting stories on the creek itself. I was talking to a miner about 10 years ago who was working on the upper part of the creek near Denver Bar, and that's very fascinating. And they had a, they had a tunnel right into the side on the north side of Denver Bar, and they were tapping the old run on Denver Bar, and ordinarily, they, they, they operated by the clock. They were taking out wheelbarrows full of, of, of gravel, and they get, averaged about $1.50 a wheelbarrow load. This is in the 1930s, Mike, the Depression of the 1930s. And that was good pay. So they stayed at it. They always started about 8 o'clock in the morning, worked till noon, and then took their half-hour lunch break. That's all they took, and then worked till about 6 o'clock. And then one day, his partner said to him, oh, he said, uh, he said Peter, let's... Uh, uh, let, let's take a break. Uh, let's take a break. A few minutes early today. They stopped at 10 minutes to 12 sat down for a minute, whoom, that's all they heard. Whole tunnel completely flat. Cool. And they'd, they'd, they'd shored her up, they'd done all the timber work, but uh, for some reason this other guy had a premonition, <laughs> and what they did, Mike, they had a fairly good stake, they'd done pretty well, they picked up their gold, they picked up their tools, and they walked away from it. Oh, that's just the fates talking to you. Eh? Yeah, the guy was very lucky. Remembers it to this day, still alive too. And another guy I remember, you know, in Rock Creek, an old guy called Ralph from Christina Lake, and he was up there for years, up by the old England claim, which was really the, the, the last of the great placer claims on the creek. That's just below the hard rock working. Yeah, that's, that's just below, the, generally is known as the old England. And uh, I used to go in and see this old boy, and I'd say, hey, Ralph, how you doing? This would be maybe 30 years ago. And he'd say, oh, Bill, I, I'm not doing too bad. He said, I got two and a half ounces this summer. Well, that's not very much. And, you know, I was at $35 an ounce, and I said, well, uh, what are you heading for? He said, well, he said, the Chinese just stopped here. He says, I'm about eight feet from their workings. So I'd go in two or three years later, and I'd say, how are you doing, Ralph? Well, Billy said, uh, uh, I've got about three ounces this year. And I said, well, that's not it. Didn't you get, no, he said, the Chinese went a little farther. He said, they, I, I thought they were going to stop here. And I'd go in three years later, and they'd say the same thing. Just a, a couple ounces a year. He never hit it. He never did. He stayed there for 43 years. The things gold will do to you, eh? Sure, sure. <laughs> You know, I mean, the, the lure it, of always going to come across that really rich run. Yeah, well, the, is it still there? Yeah, there is one place that really intrigues me on the creek, Mike. And uh, this this map we're showing here will give you an idea. And, and the map actually indicates very near Denver Bar. Denver Bar is just across the creek. Five thousand ounces came off Denver Bar, and Denver Bar was really the granddaddy of all the bars in Rock Creek. Nuggets up to six ounces. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned before in the program that the run stopped. So the old miners are very curious. So they knew it stopped. It had probably gone somewhere, either to the right or to the left, to the north or to the south. So they began tapping into that either side of the creek. And they came across some absolutely spectacular ground on the north side of the creek. Well, actually, on the north northeastern side of the creek. And they began putting in adits or tunnels in there. And they put in about nine or ten tunnels in there. In fact, some of these guys did so well, they took 1,100 ounces out of one tunnel. And this was very coarse gold, Mike. It was old gold. And so between Denver Bar and the Old England claim, there, that run trends off towards kind of the northeast. Mm -hmm. And you can see the, the tunnels are all gone now. They're caved. But that's where, the, and there's a little cabin right by Denver Bar today, kind of, uh, kind of a neat little cabin. The holder of that claim still has the cabin. And I'm convinced, as are a number of, of individuals who know Rock Creek extremely well, old Mr. Old Man Locke from Penticton, he gave me all his mining notes on, on Rock Creek before his death some years ago. He yeah. knew I was interested in mining, and in his will, he actually said, Bill, uh, I want you to, he told his son he wanted, to, he wanted me to get all his mining stuff from Rock Creek, and he'd worked on Rock Creek for many years and also worked on McKinney Creek, which was a little tributary, and he was convinced that there was an old run to the northeastern side just off Denver Bar, and from the preliminary work, there is. So somewhere just beyond Denver Bar, about maybe 150 yards north, um, it's upstream. Upstream, yeah, okay. upstream, north and east. Taking notes here. That's right, and you'll see a big gravel bank, and 
very interesting gold came out of there, and I think that run trends on that. But where it comes out, where it came from, nobody really knows. It's really a fascinating area. Well, but with gold now at 300 and whatever it is, 370 bucks an ounce, doesn't it uh, behoove somebody to go in there? Is this easy country to work? Is this gravel? Is this hard rock? What are we working on here? Well, well Mike, what you're looking at is terrific overburden, and you cannot afford, to, first of all, to move the overburden, and secondly, where do you put it? You know, in this, in this day and age where you have to be very careful in the environment. So, I don't know whether they're going to follow that with a long, long tunnel, which is extremely expensive and... Uh, Dangerous from this other, these other guys' experience. Sure it's, it is. It's shored sure up it as well as it is. It's still going to go... Oomph. That's right. I mean. And, uh, you know, I, I think this, this country itself is, is very interesting. And here we, we take a look at a shot and, uh, here, and uh, what you see really is an, old, is an old barn, and this overlooks one of the tributaries of Rock Creek. And this particular tributary is a very interesting tributary. This is, this is called McKinney, named after, yeah. well, the camp was named after him as well. So he was an early miner into the area. And this old, this old barn, that found a $5 gold piece in this barn some years ago, a guy from Summerland, B.C. And, uh, and the creek itself is really quite interesting because McKinney Creek, unlike Rock, Rock has some cabins on it, McKinney Creek has a lot of cabins on it. And here we'll see a picture of one of the cabins in the upper part of McKinney Creek. Uh, roof's gone, the cabin's in very, very poor shape. And, uh, but you move down a little bit down McKinney Creek, come down the old miner's trail, see another cabin. And here's the, here's the roof of the cabin, and uh, dug right in, almost uh, right to the ground level itself. And then you see the front part of the cabin, and just close to this cabin are the old tailings. And McKinney Creek's different than Rock, Mike. Rock Creek was very, very rich, and, but tended to be spotty in high runs and low runs. Mm -hmm. McKinney Creek tends to be very spotty. So, you know, the whole area is really quite fascinating. You have still some gold on McKinney Creek, selected spots in Rock Creek, not as good as it used to be, except for that old high run coming off Denver Bar. Yeah.